The number one method to train your mind. Eight meditation techniques. Have you ever heard of a saying that your brain is your greatest asset? Nothing is more important than training your brain and ensuring it functions properly. Have you ever wondered how one can train it? Well, one can do so through meditation. In today's video, we'll go over eight meditation techniques for training your mind. What exactly is meditating? Some might be wondering. Meditating is the practice of focusing one's mind for some time, in silence or with the help of chanting, for religious or spiritual purposes, or as a relaxation method. Learning how to meditate is a simple process that benefits your health and overall well-being. Meditation is an especially effective stress relief technique because it allows you to relieve stress at the moment while also making changes in yourself that will help you be less reactive to future stressors. It can include exercises to improve focus and attention, connect to the body and breath, accept difficult emotions, and even change consciousness. It has provided various physical and psychological benefits, including stress reduction and increased immunity. While many spiritual traditions include meditation in their teachings and practices, the technique is not associated with any religion or faith. Despite its ancient origins, it is still practiced worldwide to promote inner peace, calm, and harmony. Meditation may solve the growing need to reduce stress amid demanding schedules and lives. Although there is no right or wrong way to meditate, finding a practice that works for you is critical. Types of Meditation before you start, ask yourself questions like, do you find increased focus through movement? Do you find that darkness helps you relax? Are sounds calming or distracting to you? Are you attempting to focus or empty your mind? Answering these simple questions can help you determine which type of meditation is best for you. Number one, loving kindness meditation. Meta meditation is another name for loving kindness meditation. Its goal is to cultivate a loving and kind attitude towards everything, including one's enemies and source of stress. Practitioners open their minds to receiving loving kindness by breathing deeply. Then they send loving kindness messages to the world, specific people or loved ones. The key to most forms of meditation is to repeat the message many times until the practitioner feels a sense of loving kindness. Loving kindness meditation is intended to foster feelings of compassion and love for oneself and others. It can help people experiencing anger, frustration, resentment, or interpersonal conflict. This type of meditation has been linked to decreased depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. Number two, body scan or progressive relaxation. Progressive relaxation, also known as body scan meditation, is a type of medication in which people scan their bodies for areas of tension. The goal is to become aware of the tension and allow it to release. During a progressive relaxation session, practitioners begin at one end of the body, usually their feet, and work their way through the entire body some forms of progressive relaxation necessitate tensing and then relaxing muscles. Others suggest visualizing a wave flowing over one's body to relieve tension. Progressive relaxation can aid in the promotion of overall feelings of calmness and relaxation. It may also aid in the treatment of chronic pain. Some people use this type of medication to help them sleep because it gradually and steadily relaxes the body. Number three. Mindfulness Meditation Mindfulness is a type of medication in which practitioners are encouraged to stay aware and present at the moment. Mindfulness encourages awareness of one's surroundings rather than dwelling on the past or fearing the future. A lack of judgment is critical in this. As a result, rather than dwelling on the annoyance of a lengthy wait, a practitioner will observe it without judgment. People can practice mindfulness meditation almost anywhere. People may calmly notice their surroundings while waiting in the line at the grocery store, including the sights, sounds, and smells they encounter. Most types of meditation involve some form of mindfulness. Breath awareness trains practitioners to be mindful of their breathing, 
whereas progressive relaxation focuses on areas of tension in the body. Because mindfulness is a common theme in many forms of meditation, it has received much attention. Studies have shown mindfulness reduces fixation on negative emotions, improves focus and memory, reduces impulsive and emotional reactions, and improves relationship satisfaction. Some evidence suggests that mindfulness can help with health. For example, a study of African-American men with chronic kidney disease discovered that mindfulness meditation could lower blood pressure. Number four, breath awareness meditation. A type of mindful meditation that encourages mindful breathing is breath awareness. This is one of the most popular types of meditation due to its ease, simplicity, and convenience. Breathing happens all the time, so it's a convenient anchor for meditation. Practitioners breathing slow and deeply, counting or otherwise concentrating on their breaths. The goal is to concentrate solely on breathing and ignore other thoughts. Breath awareness, as mindful meditation, provides many of the same benefits as mindfulness. The benefits are reduced anxiety, improved concentration, and increased emotional flexibility. Number five, mantra meditation. Many teachings, including Hindu and Buddhist traditions, emphasize mantra meditation. A repetitive sound is used in this type of meditation to clear the mind. It can be a word, phrase, or sound with um being the most common. Your mantra can be said loudly or softly. You'll be more alert and in tune with your surroundings after chanting the mantra for a while. This allows you to reach higher levels of consciousness. Some people enjoy mantra meditation because focusing on a word rather than their breath is easier. Others enjoy the sensation of sound vibration in their bodies. This is also an excellent practice for those who dislike silence and prefer repetition. People who enjoy repetition and dislike silence should try this. Number six, visualization meditation. Visualization meditation is a technique for increasing feelings of relaxation, peace, and calmness through visualizing positive scenes, images, or figures. This exercise entails vividly imagining a scene and using all five senses to add as much detail as possible. It can also imply picturing a beloved or honored figure and attempting to embody their qualities. Another type of visualization meditation involves visualizing yourself and achieving specific goals to increase focus and motivation. Many people practice visualization meditation to improve their mood, relieve stress, and promote inner peace. Transcendental meditation is a spiritual form of meditation in which practitioners sit and slowly breathe. The goal is to rise above or transcend one's current state of being. Practitioners focus on a mantra or a repeated word or series of words during a meditation session. A teacher chooses the mantra based on various factors, including the practitioner's birth year and the year the practitioner was trained. People can choose their mantra as an alternative. The more modern version is not technically transcendental meditation, although it may appear. While meditating, a practitioner may choose to repeat, I am not afraid of public speaking. Transcendental meditation practitioners report both spiritual experiences and increased mindfulness. Number eight, yoga meditation. Yoga has been practiced since ancient India. Yoga classes and styles vary, but they all involve a series of postures and controlled breathing exercises designed to promote flexibility and calm the mind. The poses require balance and concentration and practitioners are encouraged to focus on the present moment rather than on distractions. Which type of meditation you choose to try is determined by several factors. If you have a medical condition and are new to yoga, consult your doctor about which style is best for you. How it works. The various meditative disciplines encouraged increased awareness, slower breathing, and acceptance. Meditation is not a goal-oriented endeavor. Indeed, focusing too much on the outcomes can cause anxiety, undermining the benefits of meditation. However, most studies show that meditation works quickly. Meditation studies typically follow practitioners for weeks or months rather than years. 
Following a meditation session, many practitioners report an immediate improvement. Meditating is common to feel less stressed, more accepting, and at peace. These sensations may persist outside of meditation sessions, over time, and with practice. How often? Many people are curious about how frequently they should meditate. There is no correct answer to this question. One argument is that any meditation is preferable to none. So even if a person can only meditate once a week, this should not prevent them from trying the therapy. Consider starting with a few sessions per week and gradually increasing to one session per day. Meditating at the same time every day can help establish meditation as a habit that is easy to incorporate into daily life. If meditation is beneficial, increasing the frequency to twice or more per day or using it to reduce stress whenever needed may be beneficial. Better Meditation Meditation is a process-oriented endeavor focusing on the present moment rather than the result. Thus, enjoying the moment is essential for successful meditation. Individuals should not judge whether a meditation session is good or bad, right or wrong. Instead, they should stay in that moment. Meditation is a skill that takes practice. Some people become frustrated or even angry when they first try to meditate. It can be difficult to stay present in the present moment and focus on a single mantra without becoming distracted. Regardless of their initial reaction, a person should continue with their meditation practice. The key is to accept thoughts without judgment or anger. Some beginners may benefit from taking a class or having the assistance of a teacher. And it's a wrap. What are your thoughts on the matter? Which meditation technique do you believe is best for you? Please share your thoughts in the comments. We love hearing from you. And don't forget to thumbs up and share this video if you want to see more excellent videos. You can also watch the video right here on the screen. Goodbye. Until next time.